bringing you what's happening around town for the city of San Bruno. The August edition for 2018 is simply packed with news of all of the fun activities that are happening right here in San Bruno. Stick around for the next few minutes to find out what you can be doing in the next few weeks. As we told you last month, National Night Out happens the first Tuesday in August. So this year, it is on Tuesday, August 7th. Even if you aren't planning to attend the gathering at Grundy Park at 6 p.m. or your own neighborhood watch group's event, the least you could do is turn on your porch light. National Night Out is all about telling would-be burglars that you are home and keeping watch over your neighborhood. If you would like more information about National Night Out or more information about starting a neighborhood watch group, contact Support Services Officer Sherry Campbell at 616-7129 or email her at the address on your screen below. And let's everyone turn on our porch lights on Tuesday, August 7th for National Night Out. Nominations are now being accepted by the Beautification Task Force for the annual Beautification Awards. You can nominate yourself, a neighbor, or friend or nominate the yard of a complete stranger. Simply go to www.sanbruno.ca.gov. Hover the cursor over the government drop-down menu. At the bottom of the boards, commissions, and committees list, click on Beautification Awards. Here you can find more information on the awards and a link to the nomination form. If you would prefer, come to the city clerk's office in City Hall to fill out a nomination but make your Beautification Award nomination soon because the deadline to submit is Friday, August 17th. Have you been trying to bypass San Mateo Avenue due to the street construction happening there? Well, the majority of the work is completed, so the area is open to through traffic. Now there are bigger, newer water and sewer lines replacing the existing 100-year-old system and the Crestmore neighborhood is next. The roadway paving construction started in July with the first of two parts. The contractor will demolish the streets in order to recycle the material so that they can reuse it when they repave. The final paving is scheduled to take place mid-August. Want more information? Visit the city's website at www.sanbruno.ca.gov. years old and you are looking for something to do, why don't you come on over to the Senior Center on Crystal Springs Road. I guarantee you will meet new people and leave the place feeling better than you did when you arrived. Here are a few of the highlights for August. Want to try new activities? August Summer Fun is everything the title says and more. During the week from Friday, August 10th through Friday, August 17th, come play a laundry list of sports and activities. And most of these activities are free. August Summer Fun Week culminates with the Western Dance Party on Friday, August 17th. At 10 a.m., join Kathy Schmidt for line dancing. At 10.30, the California Cowboys will begin playing all your favorite country music. And at noon, a catered barbecue chicken lunch will be served. Come every day or pick and choose which activities you want to do during August Summer Fun, the week of Friday, August 10th through Friday, August 17th. If you are looking for something to do with no price tag attached, look no further than the Senior Center. Five days a week we have music, and most days it is live music. Plus on Monday, August 27th, Linda Dever will present the free art appreciation class starting at 1245. This month the topic will be European realists from the 1800s, such as Mier and Corbet. Come to the Senior Center Monday through Friday around 11 a.m. for free musical entertainment and on Monday, August 27th at 12.45 p.m. for the free art appreciation class. Expand your horizons. The San Bruno Library is the place to go if you are looking for some fun and entertainment during the summertime. If you are five years old and older and need to build confidence in reading out loud, come read to the Paws for Tails dogs and their handlers. Paws for Tails will be held on Friday, August 10th from 3.30 until 4.30 p.m. These dogs refrain from judgment. They just love to hear the stories being read to them. Pause for Tales on Friday, August 10th. The last Monday evening event will take place at the library's downstairs community room on Monday, August 20th. At 6.30 p.m., Circus of Smiles will take you on a comical circus adventure. Andrew Quick and Mr. Mustache will defy the very laws of nature as they juggle, flip, 
compete for your attention, transform into a variety of characters, and make some unbelievable catches. Circus of Smiles encourages participants to join in and become part of the fun. This action-packed romp into a world of silliness will leave you in <laughs> This free event is perfect for all ages. Be sure to arrive early as the doors will be closed once the room fills to capacity. Join the circus with Circus of Smiles on Monday, August 20th at 6.30 p.m. Thursday afternoon activities continue into August. Our virtual tour around the world takes us to Australia on Thursday, August 2nd with dog painting. And on Thursday, August 9th, we will go to Mexico for Ojalata painted tin art. The Thursday afternoon activities will take place from 3 to 4 p.m. and are free to the public. Kids are encouraged to bring their adults along as we have plenty of supplies. Join us as we visit the last two countries on our virtual world tour during the Thursday afternoon activities at the library. Did you know you can sign up to get notified by text when your books on hold arrive at the library? Text the word sign up to 650-285-1148 to get started. Plus, there are features to make managing your account easier. To find out more, go to www.plsinfo.org backslash text URLIB. Are you ready for some live music and fun with your friends and neighbors? Come to Concerts in the Park! Each and every Friday night in August and September, the bands begin to play at 6 p.m. at Rotary Pavilion in City Park. Various community groups will be selling drinks and snacks, too. Each week, a different band will play, bringing you different styles of music from classic rock to jazz. And all the music will make you want to get up and dance. Concerts in the Park are free to the public and fun for all ages. So what are you waiting for? Enjoy the biggest community party of the year each Friday night in August and September at City Park. Are you between the ages of 5 and 15? Do you enjoy swimming, riding a bike, and running? If so, join us for the 6th Annual Kids Triathlon on Saturday, August 25th. Bring your bike, swimming suit, and tennis shoes and enjoy a day of races in City Park. If you register by August 17th, we can guarantee you a t-shirt in your size. And as no reservations will take place the day of the event, it is best to register as soon as you can. The 6th Annual Kids Triathlon on Saturday, August 25th. Call Jackie at 616-7184 for details. Mark your calendar. The Clean Sweep Flea Market is on Sunday, September 9th. Over 85 booths will be vying for your attention as the market takes over City Park. This event has been booked for months with eager sellers waiting for you to come and shop. And best of all, this event is free for buyers. Shop for great deals on antiques, jewelry, sporting goods, and more. Take advantage of the last flea market of the year in San Bruno. The Clean Sweep Flea Market on Sunday, September 9th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Have you already registered for the dive-in movies at the San Bruno Park Pool? You had better hurry because you must register for the dive-in movies two weeks in advance of each of the events. The movies will begin at 8 p.m. and end at 10 p.m. The cost is only $10 per person. Enjoy the movies while floating in the pool. Pool wraps and fun noodles will be available. The dive-in movies on Fridays in August at the San Bruno Park Pool. If you want to enjoy the pool without all the kids, Come to the Adult Swim on Fridays in August from 6 until 7.45 p.m. People 18 years and older are invited to the San Bruno Park Pool for these recreational swim sessions. And at $3 per person, the price can't be beat. Come to the Adult Swim sessions at the San Bruno Park Pool. Keep in mind that while the San Bruno Park Pool is open through the end of September, the hours will be changing. After August 19th, there will no longer be weekday recreational swim. Check your summer activity guidebook for details. For those of you who have business with the City of San Bruno, keep in mind that city offices, except fire and police emergency services, will be closed on Monday, September 3rd for Labor Day. Offices will reopen on Tuesday, September 4th. I have enjoyed bringing you what's happening around town for August 2018. 
take advantage of all the great events happening this month. I'm Stephanie Tevis. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.